announced an Archangel's journey. It is way too freaking early in the morning for me to be up. But hey, Kitty woke me up at 4.40 and I couldn't go back to sleep. I'm thinking about all of the trades this week. And I want to get comfortable with these candles and these charts and see what the heck they're telling me. So I hope you're feeling motivated like I am. And uh, so I'm just going to like first do an analysis of ETH and BTC for some live trades today. And then we're going to go into some backtesting. I hope that's okay for this vid. Um, it might get long. Who knows? All right. Cool. That sounds like a good time. Let's get it pumping. Right. I'm going to make myself tiny. Hey, I remember my glasses this time. Oh, this week, man. This week. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So let's take a look at Ethereum for the moment. So we started out this, this thing as a nice green week. We have evolved into a very red week. <laughs> but it uh, looks like today is turning into a bit of a green candle. So let's see what's up. Let's jump into the four hour. So I'm just doing my high level analysis. Last night, I, I figured there would be a long from here and it looks like it's working out relatively well. Um, ah, kitties, kitties heading back upstairs. So, you know, it's really important for me to like pay attention to these like higher level imbalances, right? Look how beautifully it dropped from here. Took out all of that. Nice. I didn't take this trade as I don't when I, when I, um, <laughs> when I look to take the right trades, I don't take the wrong trades, hashtag sad face, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So we have this giant imbalance right here and let me pop on my fair value gap. Okay. Interesting. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's red. It's a light red. Oh man, my screen is way too light. I can't see that. There we go. Nice fair value gap on the four hour. I like this thing. I think I'm going to use it. This way I don't have to keep drawing it out for myself, right? And it would have shown me this one up here. All right, where's the pivot today? So we are trading below the pivot. Boom, boom, boom. So still trading below it. It's a red week. So mostly going to continue looking for shorts until maybe we bust above the pivot find some support on it and then go back up. All right, so, and just for funsies, let's take a look at the Bollinger Band. Yep, we are like firmly to the left of that puppy. So, trading lower. All right, so that setup's already pretty much done. Let's drop down to the one hour and let's take a look at what we're seeing. I'll leave the fair value gaps. So we have one on the one hour, another one hour here. This will close when the, the the entire gap's been eaten. So let's think about how this could play out. This is a break right here. And this big candle up here is technically like our order block. But I only really care about these guys. So we're already kind of like moving back up into this space. So if we continue up, tap this puppy up here. And then we could come back down. Just, I don't know, something like that. Actually, go a little lower, actually. Come back, continue on down. Something like that. So, for now, I'm just going to set myself an alert. At that, at that juncture right there, it's already at this little area here where price last stopped off. So, I don't know if I feel like it's going to continue on up without some real uh, without some real impetus. So we'll see. Looks like they're already rejecting it here on the one hour. We got 48 minutes left on that candle. Um, all right. So something that I noticed that I need to, and this is another reason why I want to back test today, something else that I noticed, and I'll just go ahead and take this off so I don't confuse myself. And um, I'm just going to call this the area the last, you know, that price last hung out at, like, stopped. You know? It's our area, whatever you want to call it. it. Probably if we if we drag this to the left, we'll probably find some confluences over there. 
All right, so right now we're on a little bit of a mini uptrend on the 15 minute. Um, there's this 15 minute fair value gap around this break right here. So lots of potential for them to come back up into this general vicinity. They haven't eaten all of this gap, which was the another area from this break that I was expecting for a price to drop back down. Did I take it? Again, no. Hmm. But let's talk about that, right? So if if let's do the replay button because I want to see what the candles look like when it came back up into this space, right? So once price come came back in here in the 15 minute, best to drop into the two minute, right? Or so, five, two minute, whatever, and see what's up. Because now we have all of this stuff, this little gap up here that's concerning. We've got this green wick testing for higher prices, right? So, okay, so what I want at this point, we've technically eaten all of this liquidity, 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 all taken, right? So looking for a, like a mini fear value gap to form, okay, or Keep it as simple as possible. So maybe this one right here, give me something to work with. All right, cool. So once I've seen this, I can go ahead and do this, set my stop loss above that little gap area there, and then scroll out to the 15 minute and aim for another fair value gap which as it turns out so we're in a, we're in a strong downtrend right so we've got a four hour fear valley gap all the way down here so we could aim for this guy there's even a daily one down here and i'd marked out this level that i think price is coming back down to right this is like let me take this off it's 8 30 yesterday morning so what would that look like right that's like a 8.94 stop loss i'm gonna plop it above this level right here because i don't trust it and having seen that again let's look to the left i have the feg so i want to stop at a spot where price last hung out at like that seems like a good good spot right here could be a little lower right there you know something like that all right so and this happened at what time? 3.30. Man, my work day yesterday was insanity. <laughs> All right, so let's let that play out. So that would have worked beautifully. Uh, 1 to 4.22. Let's plop this into the calculator too, because why not, right? And... Uh, so if we open this puppy up, so entry would have been 1207.02. So something I just need to be more comfortable um, working with, you know, like just following my process. And then my stop loss at 1218.48. Let's see what that trade, because I would have done this before entering, right? Okay, for a short, risking 1%, margin, Position size would need to be 0 0.0774. Risk to reward, I would have made 0 0.374 on that. Not bad. Oh, that's at 20. I'm at 5. At 5 leverage. So 20% return. Okay, not bad. So understanding that that's what I'm looking for whenever it comes back to an area of interest for me, that's what I'm going to be doing moving forward, right? So that's happened. Now, the other thing that I noticed last night is like on the 15 minute, and the reason why I thought about the long but didn't take it, on the 15 minute, it made this green, was that hammer, inverted hammer, whatever, I don't know, drop it in the comments. It made this green inverted hammer that didn't close below here. And I'm finding that like whenever, um, and 
I'm wondering if the color matters, right? So if, let's take a look at what it looks like as we come down, right? So on the five minute, it's a red hammer, right? Now let me take off the FVG for the moment because it can be a little distracting, right? And I'll take my drawing of that off. So on the five minute, it looks like that with a nice bullish green candle. And then if I go on to the four minute, it's like a green candle, um, three minutes, almost close together, two minutes. Okay, so it almost looks like a bullish engulfing. And what about the one minute? Definitely bullish engulfing, engulfing that, that, that. So, because my thought here now, if I go back to like the two minute, because I think once I saw on the 15 minute, I saw this like green candle, right? It's not red anymore. It's green. It made me feel like, yeah, we're probably going to go back up on the 15 like that, right? But then come down to the, the, um, to the two minute. Now I'm looking for, it's busted up. Fair value gap is what I'm looking for, which doesn't look like it actually got created on this one, right? Because this week is here, this week is here, no gap, right? But it came down to it. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's do this. Because I'm just wondering. Yeah, no, I'm wrong. There's there's no gap because that here, that enveloped that, that came in. So what would have been my real entry, right? So that created its own little gap, I think. Let's see. It's not showing it to me. I need to train my eyes to be able to see this. Because technically, like, this area feels like it should be a gap, right? It does. It feels like it should be a gap. And maybe I'm not seeing it because I'm not on the right time frame. Yeah, so there was there it was on the one minute that the gap appeared. So that's probably why you need to like I need to check each one to see. Cause then this that's why my entry was here from before. This is the entry at the top of the gap, stop loss below here. And then turn on my fear value gap back again. And then ride it back up to this area where like price last stopped. And that's a nice good uh, what is that? Mm. It's not showing me the, the return on that thing. But, you know, we're in a downtrend. So I I would be really interested. Personally, I would be trying to ride it back up all the way up to here where the original um, break happened. So let's pop, pop back out to the 15 minute. And, you know break here, well, FEG here, FEG in this general vicinity. We're in a four hour FEG, so then I would have aimed for that right there. Yeah, there's a strong four hour. And then the daily one is the bigger one up top. So potentially, I don't know, even all the way up, but I wanna be greedy, right? So if price last stopped here, this wick, let's see, does that work? Let's see. And this is what price is doing right now. Look at that. It dropped right, it tapped right above that wick. Beautiful. So that would have been a 1 to 4.4, 4, 1 to 4.13. Did I take it? No. Okay. But now that we've taken a look at that, we're aiming, we're coming back up to this break area. We've got these different gaps to play with. Um, I'm gonna take that off for a second just to clean up the charts a bit. And let's let this um, come back to normal. All right, so, ah, uh, so, yeah. So we're coming up to reclaim most of this wick right here, it looks like. All right, so from my perspective, I have this order block right here. Find that out. Got this order block. 
supply imbalances right around it. So it's coiling back up. If I'm going to take any kind of short for the, for the day, I'll have to see price come back up to about here and then give me some signal like it did here. So I've set an alarm for here to see if it's going to cross it. And then if it's going to tap this, this. So we'll see. So general expectation is something to the effect of come up here and drop. You know, maybe give me a fair value gap on the lower time frames for me to enter and then come back down. Something like that. Again, there's this liquidity to be eaten right here. So I'm just going to wait. So my general setup is this. There's all of this, you know, people shorted here, people shorted here. If it's continuing down, I don't necessarily feel like they're going to take this because then that might invalidate. They might come all the way up to it to make it an equal high, maybe. Yeah. Interesting thought. So I'm finding, so there's that. And then for BTC, let's do a similar scenario, right? We start out as a green week. Obviously, big wake up, man, ate, ate a lot of that. Then bad news came back down, and now we're forming what looks like an evening star on Bitcoin. Dang. Did Ethereum look like that? Hold on. On the weekly? Let's see. Just for funsies. Um, not quite. Bitcoin is. Wow. Okay, on the weekly. Does it look like on the daily? Fascinating. Oh, let me take these pivots off for the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, you know, there's, this could have been even felt like, you know, testing for higher prices. But once this formed, yup, looking for lows for sure. All right, so we're forming the day starting a little green. We'll see been a red it's a red week so let's go down to the four hour what do we have okay hmm, look similar scenario green candle for it to go back up on the four hour red wicking down i'm finding that if it's going to do some sort of reversal the green candle's got to be below everything else liquidity eaten continue back up Interesting. Is that what happened over here? Mm, it's a red candle. Let me take this off, sorry. Green candle wicked below the red but closed above. Same thing. Wick to continue back. Okay. Oh, look at that. Green candle, red wicked above but closed either equal or below it. Drop. Oh, green candle wicked above, but closed equal or below it dropped. Whoa. Okay, okay. Red candle, green candle wicked below it, but closed by it. Continue back up. Oh my goodness, look at that. Footprints, y'all. Footprints. Footprints. Red, green. Footprints. Wow. Okay. Okay. Starting to see. It's going to take a while, but I'm starting to see. All right. So let's zoom out. So been on a bit of an uptrend, but we've just broken below this higher low and made an actual low. So on the four hour, there's all of this. I'll turn my fair value gap back on. Okay. So that's all of that juiciness up there. Lots to hunt down here. Big four hour FEG up here. They've already hunted the liquidity here and dropped. So looking for them to hunt this candle right here. So just gonna call this like my buy side liquidity. Buy side liquidity. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm learning. So let's um put that to the left. Cool, cool, cool. Can't spell. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> go on the top. Okay. And 
maybe I want a different color for this liquidity hunt. Green. Let's make it green. Yes. So there's this buy side liquidity that they could hunt. They could also hunt this one below here. The what I'm looking for is them to come into this bigger imbalance. Hmm. Price stalled here, so the break, bigger break actually started on this green candle. Technically, there's this bigger guy up here. So I'll set an alert. Actually. I set an alert for when they when they tap this general vicinity right here. <clears throat> but we're all the way down here. So let's go down to the one hour. What else we have? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. Let's see if it shows on the 15. It does. Look, it did it. Busted below the red candle, closed right by it, and then continued back up. Interesting. Traded back, it, this liquidity traded back down to this area to make like a higher low on this, in this general vicinity, and then traded back up. I wonder, let's hit the replay button, let's come here. Let's drop down to the five minute. So I'm trying to understand what it looks like, right? And... I'll take the FEG off for the moment. Actually, no. Let me get used to, to having it on. So when it just says FEG, that's just the time frame you're in. So that's the five-minute one. <clears throat> that little guy. There's a 15-minute one. It's another five-minute one right here. Five-minute. 15, five. So I like want to aim for the bigger ones, right? I'll use the lower time frame gaps for for entries, so let's do four out four minutes. Let's see what that looks like. Fifteen minutes, nothing there. Three minutes. So I start looking. And there's a gap right there. So we've come down. We started back up just like yesterday. So I could have. I could have price when price comes back into this gap. Pop it below this FVG right here and then let's plot back up to like the 15 minute and now we'll then aim for this 15 minute gap and technically if I think about it this is another spot where price last hung out look at that right along right in this general vicinity would that have worked last night let's see Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Okay. So so is this like an inner an inner thing on this thing? Weird. This is what I'm aiming for. What I would have been aiming for. That's a one to three point four seven. What kind of a move was that would that be with this? It's a one point four two move if I'd just taking this this imbalance, zero point six eight. What is if I'd basically it's like this general vicinity where price kind of hung out? Let's see, got rejected from. So maybe in my head I should have been aiming for that the base of this. In which case, we have gotten it. Not quite, almost. Or maybe we aim for the wicks, the last lowest wick. Because I did that before and that worked. Yeah, and that would have been a 1 to 2.49. Okay. All right, so right now, what are we looking at? We've made a higher low. And we're coming back into, let me get rid of this. We're coming back into this fear value gap. So I'm still expecting, and let's see the waves. So price went up, came back down to the last place it hung out, didn't close below it, good. Came back up to this place, meandered about, 
then finally made a higher low here. Price kind of paused in this general vicinity, then wicked up and sort of hung out this other spot that price last kind of stopped at, then came back to this general vicinity where we wicked and hung out. And now it's back at this level. Now we're having a lot of problems breaking above here. Okay, so let's look at what this candle is telling me, right? So I've been learning that if it's a red candle, green, didn't close below it, then it's probably going to continue back up. Red candle, green, didn't close below it, going back up. Red candle, green, didn't close above it or close around the same place, continued up. So it's probably just going to come and eat this liquidity right here and then continue on up. Red went up a little bit. We seem to be slowing down though. So if it busts below here, then maybe I'm wrong. But I'm looking for something up here. If I'm going to short, but there's this 15 minute liquidity for them to eat. To finish eating up that fair value gap. Let's see how this is forming. So just a curiosity sake, let's see what this looks like on the 10 minute. Well, that definitely looks like a, you know, liquidity eaten. Dropped below it, rise above it, continue back down to an area where price last hung out, and then for a potential continuation up. So I need to see how these close. All right, so that's a 10 minute, let's go to the five minute. Coming, coming back down, green candle, red candle closed right there, wicked above it, coming back down. Mm. Mm. So I think for this scenario, like we are hanging out in this, this bit of a range, right? Let's see. Ooh, kitty wants attention. So this is this is the general range, I think, right? If I'm going to, if I'm being really conservative. Actually, let's pop up all to the 15 minute because I want to let that be my range guide. So where's the high for, um, today's the 17th. So the highest point for the 17th is here. I'm just going to do premium and discount. The lowest point for the 17th so far is here. So that's the high and low for the moment. As the day progresses, it will adjust. And we have lots to aim for. That wick hasn't been touched. This wick is juicy and delicious looking. I know I say weird things. There's this four hour um, gap that we can aim for if price is gonna continue on lower. And then we have this, this break imbalance um, supply area up here. Excuse me. So I'm going to draw that out. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see how that plays. Is a tiny, tiny 15 minutes? So they might wake up to it. So let's see in terms of liquidity hunts, of liquidity hunting, hunted. So I don't know, maybe they're done for the moment because this guy taken out all of this liquidity let's take a look at the lower so this has been hunted right here so actually i'm going to use this wick all of that's been hunted so let's go stop hunts right there and i'm trying to figure out which ones are the right ones to focus on right so let's let's go back to the replay button and i want to see what's happening on this candle right here so so far, my favorite for potential entries is this two minute, like, okay, so beautiful. They hunted it, nice big candles, broke above it, and then one, two, three, fair value gap formed right here in between. Beautiful. So if I'd, you know, 
trusting this, enter there for a short. And then if I want like a, if I was aiming for something, let's see. If we're going to continue on down, we're in this four hour thing. That's a one. Let me, if we're going to continue on down, let's go to the 15 minutes. <clears throat> And right now we're inside of the daily range, right? And we're in this four hour gap. So we're still eating up most of this. What would I be thinking about if we're gonna continue down lower today? Uh, what's that? That's so the one to four, this wick. See if they'll finish eating up this four hour. So that's technically what we're inside of right now, I think. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now. If this stop hunt is correct. And we're looking for the shorts. Hmm. And this the candles are giving me another clue too. So green candle closed above. And wait, think about my, my logic here. In this scenario, it was, it is green candle close above, but the red close at the same time, continuing down. Semi-similar, sort of, red. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what these are called. Wow. Closed almost above it, right next to it. So yeah, that could be a nice shorting opportunity right here. It's coming down to this imbalance. Let's see how they they choose to play it. I would potentially look for if it's not going to break above and he's already done its little stop hunt, right? Then I would be looking for price to break that with some gusto, make a lower low. And then when it comes back up, then I'll take my actual short from there. So I'll be watching this one for the day and see. We could also just be going sideways inside of this range, this range for the day. It's not the best range. I'm just, I just wanna know what the premium and discount is for the day. If I was gonna really be like prepping the actual range that we're playing inside of, it would be something more like with more touches, you know, like that. And like maybe that, yeah. So in all, we'd be coming back into like the midpoint of this range and we'll see how it behaves. But I wanna, you know, but mostly I just, I just wanna like map out for the moment where the high is for the day and where the low is for the day. So I know I should be selling from here, buying from here, depending on what the charts tell me. Oh. All right, so I think we're already like 33 minutes on this, this particular video. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it there so I try not to make these too crazy. But yeah, like I would have taken the short from up in this wick right here and I would be waiting to see what's going on. All right, guys, that's good for that one. Let me make myself big again. So I have made mistakes this week around trend bias, like my my the bias. So, you know, like yesterday I took three longs in a very red day. Stupid. Lost them all, obviously. And, you know, these are lessons that I need to go through so I know um what to do what not to do follow my process i need to feel this pain right so for the first time i have dropped below nine nine usdt on my 10 usdt account and that's because this week all the good trades that i had set up i didn't let them play out which would have been beautiful and then all the bad trades that i took i let those play out <laughs> um in a in an effort to let my my process work its way through so um we'll see growing pains y'all growing pains all right that's good for now 
drop a comment, like, and subscribe if you feel like it. And you know what? Be safe out there trading, all right? Shakira, 